It's a new reality check for many folks who are already struggling to make ends meet. If you've taken a trip to the grocery store, then you know there is a tighter squeeze on our wallets these days due to the rising costs of living. A report shows about half of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck with millennials most likely feeling the financial crunch. Tonight, our Bill Churchwell begins a five part series that's diving into the struggles that many folks are now facing as they walk that thin line of poverty and the state of homelessness in the city. Miles McElhaney has come a long way since a family tragedy sent him into a downward spiral. I experienced a death in my family. When I came here, my grandma had died. And then less than a month later, my grandfather gets charged for murder. The veteran and father of two struggled with PTSD and with substance abuse. My vice was methamphetamines. Yep. He knows what it's like to hit rock bottom. I was on the island and uh, the night before I sat there sleeping in a urinal because I had nowhere to go. The next day he found Mission 911. The process was immense. It would also be a turning point, leaning on his faith and his family. I thought if I could just help one person. 23 years after he founded the nonprofit, Tony Reyes has offered hope for thousands of people who have walked through his door. Even if you're a person like Miles that have maybe struggled in life, and you need a rebound, we're there for you. What started as a shelter for men is now making the transition to focus on case management. This, as Tony says, more and more people find themselves making tough financial decisions to keep their heads above water. Everybody lives in that moment of, oh my gosh, am I gonna lose my car? Am I gonna lose my house? Am I gonna lose my family? Well, you're going to have to make some decisions. It's that focus on solutions, he says, will empower you, which is why the former transitional housing complex will find itself evolving too. You're going to have a little reception area here. Recently, Mission 911 announcing it will be moving to a brand new location at Old Romstown Road and Leopard Street. Instead of a shelter, it will offer a one-stop shop for clothing and resources to help pay bills and meet with case managers. Come on in. Let's... Miles has called the nonprofit home for seven months. Where I'm at right now is where I dreamed I was going to be. Right now he has a roof over his head and holds down two jobs. I have a studio apartment that I live in. Nowhere else right now is feasible for that. He wants people to know it's okay to ask for help just like Mission 911 is helping him. Voice it. Closed mouths don't get fed. For more information about the services Mission 911 offers, you can call 361-882-0911. And while we're here, we also want to get a better snapshot of the area's needs as a whole. This year's Point in Time survey is back. The count happened in January of this year and shows 627 people in Corpus Christi who are experiencing homelessness. 301 of them were considered unsheltered, 63 of them veterans. Tomorrow on 3 News at 10 o'clock, we'll be continuing this special series called Paycheck to Paycheck. I'll have a look at how rising costs has some adults moving back home and how doing so helps them save. Back to you.